Bye bye. See you bye guys. See you another custom matching video. For a few dollars, more 1965. This video is special because this is a comment request. So thank you for your comment request. Mm -hmm. We already watched the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. yeah. Which is for the comment request. This movie is actually before the good, the bad, and the ugly. This is also the same actor too. Yeah, from the good. Who is what? Lee Fang Kui. Let's see how this movie goes. All of our videos in today's subtitles so make sure to put on the first caption. You guys want it all on this? So you guys can put on the other time set. We are automatically can set your own. Okay, so I'm ready. ready for a few dollars more. <gasps> oh, we already know what the soundtrack looks like. Yeah, the iconic soundtrack. And this is also the second Western movie we ever watched. <laughs> Is this the good or the bad? <laughs> the ugly is not appear in this movie. I think this is Clean Eastwood. <laughs> it's like a good humming. <laughs> he stop? <laughs> oh. What? That is clearly not Clean Eastwood. <laughs> is that already? Wow. Oh, here's the title. Here we go, guys. For a few dollars more. He is curious about the money, the dollars. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how they oh. Clean Eastwood. Wow. <laughs> I really wonder how they edit movies back then. No, this is they have seen like a Premiere Pro or Final no. Cut Pro 10. <laughs> they obviously having their own software to edit the movie. Look at that text. Yeah. It's amazing. And the animation too. Yeah. How the text appear. The music is different from the second one. Yeah. <laughs> the text animation. <laughs> Send to me in and out. Moving left to right. Any color. Yeah. Wow. Well, I think it's also the same director, Sergio Leone. Wow. Has he its price on the killers? The Bible. Thank you. Thank you. This is part of Tukumkari. We should pass there in about three or four minutes. And this is the bad. Excuse me, but you made a mistake, Reverend. I peddle goods around here, and I better tell you you're on the wrong train. I think the nearest stop to Tukumkari is Amarillo. By getting off at Santa Fe, you should be able to get right where you're... Yeah, <laughs> the bad. Uh, do you see the train doesn't stop at Tukumkari? Is it gonna be a bad character or not a usual character? train will stop at Tukumkari. The old trains. Hey, Why don't you stop? Something's gone wrong? Somebody pulled the emergency cord. From the bad calling. I think he's not the bad. I don't know if the first one is about that. The good, the bad, the ugly. <laughs> I think it's different. Different storyline. Tell me, why'd you stop that train? Well, the railroad company be mighty pleased to make any arrangements for any passenger if you want to get off. I did get off. Thanks. Alright, let's go! Go ahead! Let's go! <laughs> uh, I passed by here in person and had it on those two zeros. He said, a measly thousand bucks for me is much too little. I'm worth a lot more than that. <laughs> That's right, and then he added the zeros on the thousand. <laughs> <laughs> there isn't anyone got the guts to face that killer, eh? <laughs> Been that way till now. Oh, there's that train piano. Where is he? Huh? Where is he? I've no idea where he'd be today. So I think he's a good guy. He's bad. <laughs> Is the guy who are laughing? <laughs> the girl said, Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no doubt, just shot right like that. Oh. Pardon me, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this a horses? Oh. Is that him? Is that actually him? 
She's far ahead. <laughs> what do you know about Kavanaugh? About a week ago, he was seen at White Rock. If it's of any interest to you, somebody else dropped in to see me about him. Who? i never seen him before. His name is Manco. She already got a thousand dollars. Yeah, this is clean as well. Oh, it's raining. White Rocks. The style is the same, the outfit is the same as the second movie. Even the hats too. Light? You know Baby Kavanaugh? Tell me, you know where I can find him? There, at that table. He's got his back to you. Thanks. Hmm. What are you doing? Two guards. <laughs> That's so rude. Didn't hear what the bed was. Your life. <laughs> um. Alive or dead, it's your choice. Let Red go. Four versus one. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, let's swing his gun. <laughs> Two thousand dollars, a lot of money. Takes me three years to earn it. Tell me, isn't the sheriff supposed to be courageous? Yeah, above all, honest. Yeah, that he is. People need a new sheriff. Oh, so he's the one who got the three thousand dollars. I thought he was Tuko for the second movie, the ugly. He got the same star. Oh. Oh, who's this? Joey. This is so creepy. Rodriguez, senor. Oh. You come along. <laughs> <laughs> I'm letting you leave here. That's so you can tell everybody you've seen what takes place here. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's priced at ten thousand dollars. Wow. <laughs> oh, they're all alive. <gasps> His mind is only wanna to shoot him. <laughs> yeah, obviously. But the gunshot to shoot him. <laughs> money. No, no, no. Yes. You took money to put me behind bar. You should have killed me where you could. So Would be better for about the baby. And for them. How old is the boy? How old is the boy, I ask? He's 18 months now. Just the time that I was in jail. You used the reward oh, that no. you got. Raise me and that's why I feel your family is partly mine. I take my partner outside. Oh. They're both innocent. Please let him go. I was the one. You know that. It's so intense. I know. I'm sure. 
sure you hate me just enough. It's crazy. This time you'll have a chance to shoot me, but not in the back. Let go. When you hear the music finish, begin. Or do you think you can? Let's start. Oh my gosh, the officer can defeat them all. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> you sweat a lot. <laughs> the music makes it so intense, like when it stops. No. Did he just fart things the door sound? Not the door sound. <laughs> Sounds like fart. Let's go figures again. So in the first movie, uh, they together like a good guy. They just wanna look for a few doors more. <laughs> Carolina. That's right, Carolina. Because Can I help together you? they are body hunters. Yeah. For a first class bang. It's not that different from the second, but they actually Very rather they're a good guy. Oh, um, suppose I'm a bandit. Bandit? Very dangerous bandit. With a gang of killers. And what would be the most impossible bank for me to rob? In your case, uh, the one bank I would suggest is the Bank of El Paso. Not even Indio would dare to attack that one. It's not a bank. <laughs> it's a fortress there. What time's the next train for El Paso? 11.30. I'll telegraph to my colleague in the Bank of El Paso that you're going to arrive. Thanks. El Paso. Mr. Kent, you need a stable or my name is Fernando. <laughs> right here and that is your hotel why this hotel and not some other you probably wouldn't like that other place as much to you at this hotel the rooms will cost you so much less There's a landlady at this room senor married yes but she doesn't care the bank as soon as i get some money i'll put it well, you're gonna have to earn it first i have 50 cents here for you if you'll let me know somebody you've never seen before here in el paso at the hotel senor a stranger just yes. senor <laughs> Hotel. Let me know if you see any more strangers. Sure, senor. Senor. Help you, sir? I want the room right above. Sorry, it's occupied. The hotel's filled to capacity. I'm sorry, the room you want is out there. It's always occupied. <laughs> By who? Check the register. Mary! <laughs> senor Martinez. It's free now. That room is taken! I'll see to it. <laughs> he put the pencil on his head. <laughs> <laughs> She says it's free now. He's tall, isn't he? <laughs> You're just dirty. Professor, quick! My bill! What's my bill? Before he comes down here, give me my oh, bill. Mr. Martinez is going to be alright, Mr. Martinez. He's so soft. Oh, Mr. Martinez. Yes, senor, what do you want? Yes, what do you want? I don't wear them. I'm honored to do father, we thank you. <laughs> 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 this talk is so fast. Why is this? That's so dangerous. He throw the knife like that. <laughs> He's broken. <laughs> the gear. <laughs> Hello. You see, I didn't waste a minute coming here. You call. They all feel us. Yeah. I'm through. If you're waiting for Sancho, I'll go and come back in about four years. I think they all going to be dead. Oh, yeah. Killed by the good guy or the narrow mix maybe. Yeah. Killed by the good guy and bad guy. A just listen. A bank at El Paso. Let's see. We'll say this is the inside of the bank. They're eating chicken. What's that? Nino is the same. Which way is three turns and inside the bomb. There's the part with two cashiers. Yeah, I think it's the chicken. This is the manager's thing. Right in back is a fancy cabinet containing bot or offering drinks to the rich deposit. There's the main door and opposite the Billy double wall. What happens, Groggy? Let's say you've already killed the two cashiers and the manager. And for the next few minutes, you're the boss of the bank. Now what? The time's been wasted, India. Right, the waste of time. Especially Groggy to press open that... My safe will have to be using so much dynamite. And you'll all go up with the presence of a safe alone. Doesn't always signify that there is money inside. I would like to relate a nice little parable. Once upon a time, there was a carpenter. You don't think a carpenter can make money, eh? No. Wrong. This one did work. Because he was a builder of safe. He was a banker one. Who decided he must have his iron safe disguise. Look like a wood cabinet. Tell me a story. Get it, mate? The banker goes to our carpenter. And one day, carpenter's in a bustle. He happens to walk into the bank. The cabinet. From that day on, he couldn't work anymore. Really? There was something he had to do. It was this crazy idea. And it's dead. 
Uh, you put his hands on the money inside. Get in there and grab all the money. But he was lucky to go in just that bank. It wasn't true. His good fortune stopped that day as a prisoner. He ran into me. <laughs> you ran to him? The carpenter told me the story and I tell you. <laughs> the money is in the safe. It's right in it. Almost a million dollars in it. Your colleague in Tucumcari told me that this bank has the largest deposits in the whole state. Yes, that's correct, Mr. Mortimer. Here at the bank at El Paso, we have half a million dollars reserve on hand. I see. The old bank. From the moment your money is on deposit here, you can sleep without any worry. Sarge, when the bank is closed, an armed guard always remains. Here, and a patrol is on guard out. And the Bank of San Francisco isn't that well protected. Now, the truth is... To try robbing us would be so futile that only a complete fool would attempt it. Yeah, or a complete madman. I want to make sure the money is safe. Criminal lost for a good bank. Get out of the way. Get out of here. <laughs> this one, money <mannequin. laughs> More news, amigo. Not a stranger in town? <laughs> You're calling. Something else. There was another stranger I didn't tell you about. Listen to me, you sawed off little runt. <laughs> know how many men there are all together? Well, there were two. Now there's two more. Where? In the saloon. <laughs> He's gonna defeat all four of them? Really? How do you know? Oh no. There's also yeah. him. They are bounty hunters. <laughs> you see his neck? <laughs> his face. <laughs> They're all backing off. <laughs> Whiskey. Listen, mister, why do you choose my place to commit suicide? Why should a man walk around with a pistol and then let himself be insulted? Mighty strange. Hunchback didn't shoot you. A very, very important reason. I was thinking that myself. <laughs> Bang El Paso. One, have four, have one, yes, both, sure, yes. What they call the seconds? This tea is so sour. Oh. Uh. <laughs> what a great shot. <laughs> He saw the newspaper. I mean the good one. No, no. I know. <laughs> All right. No, man. I don't know. Train two 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 three. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> his mustache. You know what I told him he could do with his railroad? <laughs> oh my God! What's happening? Oh, the place is near the train. Oh. I thought it was an outbreak. Listen to me, old man. I didn't come here to listen to you rattle on about train to find out about this thing. No need to be insulted. Who you can clear out of my house fast before I lose my temper. Understand? Hey! Where are you going? Guess I better leave before you go and lose your temper. Hurry up. Give me that pistol there. Yeah, right there behind you. Yes, yes, that's the one. Now hand it over. That's it. Give me that gun. Only one question. How does he carry his gun? He wears it here across his belly. Of course I know. He's Colonel Douglas Mortimer. A brave man. A great soldier. Now he's reduced to being a bounty killer. Because of the train. Damn Pooh. Yeah, he's talking this guy. He said that he always hold his gun like that on his belly. He looks like Chinese. I think he is a Chinese. Why are they hiding? Oh. Oh, they meet each other. Hi. Take it to the station. The gentleman's leaving. Hold it. Take it back. Take it back. Take it to the station. Go inside. <laughs> station. <laughs> <laughs> this is a comedy scene. <laughs> he won't hold this back. <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> Just like the games we know. This is so funny. <laughs> oh, that pants. Yeah. He even fly off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he always like to shoot the head. <laughs> Just like the second movie. But not to go right now. <laughs> <laughs> if it's in real life, the head will be... Oh. How is the head still like that? Even if it's got shot. He's so, so precise. Why is it not broken? I think he's going to shoot again. <laughs> he's angry right now. Oh no, he keeps... He keeps reaching. Oh, he missed. His bullets are empty. His head? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> the sound effects. <laughs> How can somebody in my business go around with a contraption like this? That contraption almost sent you to your grave. Forgetting one thing, Colonel, I was shooting at your head. Well, I was only shooting at yours. I recall firing first. Boy, I've reached almost 50 years of age. How long do you expect to last? So take it along in the first movie. It's longer than that. I want to get my hands on Indio to her. Indio. After me. Or before you. Or at the same time. Had a proposition. An equal partnership. First is, there's 14 of them. What? Or a small number even for two of us. Second reason. Second reason is you could make it 15 to 1. Don't forget I want to play in this game too. Together they play the game. Together they are multi hunters. And the colonel die. I'll be generous. You can have the reward for Indio. And I'll take the reward for the rest of the band. No. no. All wrong. Indio's worth $10,000. But the rest of the band adds up to much more than that. Indio's one. Frisco's worth two. 10000 Yeah, but a few more will add up to more than that. How do you know that? Kind of like this. Take you up on your proposition. Let's drink to this partnership. The partnership. Partnership. No tricks. Are they trusting each other? You realize, of course, we're gonna have to figure out some way to get them in the middle. Yep. One from the outside, one from the inside. One of us will have to join Indio's band. Why are you looking at me when you say one of us? Because they don't know you. Wild sees me and the sample catch on fire. Bring him a bunch of road. Take him. Sancho Perez, friend of India, cooling off in Alamogordo jail. How do you know all this? I've got my information. Naturally, you'll have to arrange release. Naturally. Oh, my Colonel. Were you ever young? Yeah, just as reckless as you. Young yeah, and reckless. <laughs> Something happened. Made life very precious to me. Is that the question indiscreet? No, the question isn't indiscreet, but the answer could be. This is the feeling? Oh my gosh, so he's got that from them. Oh my gosh, the music. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> There's a bee. <laughs> oh. Told me you were put away. Been resting for four long years in prison. For four weeks. Who is that with you? Me out and a friend of mine. Uh, why did he help you? Amigo, why did you help me out? Such a big reward being offered on all you gentlemen that I thought I might just tag along on your next robbery. Might just turn you into the law. Oh. <laughs> Not his hair, his cigarettes. <laughs> Amigo, that's the one answer that will prove you all right. As you arrived just in time, too, the job is already set. This tomorrow place is a bank in El Paso. Not far from El Paso is a little town. Tomorrow, Blackie, Chico, Paco, Amigo. Rob the bank in Santa Cruz. Any others around, we'll take care of them. After the job, we'll all meet again at Las Palmeras. Where are you going? Well, if there's gonna be any shooting, I gotta get my rest. <laughs> Is that a coffee? Hey, amigo. You know when you told that story? Big joke, wasn't it, amigo? Who said I was joking? Don't get that. There you have to die. What is... Three versus one. Oh, they're so fast. And now they should be at Santa Cruz. 
They create a masterpiece music so match with the fight. Oh, this is chickens. Chicken. The ants. Jordy, in the owner's band have just robbed the bank here in town. Why don't you just sit down and send out the alarm to El Paso? The rest of the towns around here and warn them, right? Mister, I didn't hear any shots at the bank. You might hear one. Alarm. <laughs> Oh my god. They robbed the bank at Santa Cruz! Follow me! Oh, they know. The fear is so breathtaking. Look, the telegraph wire. All his weapons. The other side. Huh? Just beside the stairs. This is crazy. That's why the feelings not come inside without the door. What are you doing here? You're not running away. Oh, I'm not running away. Partnership is dissolved. I've been reasonable with no result. Now take it easy. You only knew the Santa Cruz part of his plan. I'm gonna meet Indio. I better go along. I'm going alone. Me. <laughs> Appointment with Indio. I'm not gonna let anyone else interfere. All right, in that case, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not bad. Indio sent four men to Santa Cruz. One man returns, a new man, without a scratch. Indio's no idiot. And don't forget, as of today, the whole gang is worth forty thousand dollars more. That's the reward offered by the bank to get the money back. Partnership operating again. How do you figure? Try to convince Indio to go north. It's a good spot for an ambush. You on the outside, me on the inside, right? Mm-hmm. North. You said already bleeding. North. <laughs> Yuri. Wait a minute. We need time to open it. This is the right place. He's back. He's alright. The others said. Yeah. After Santa Cruz, we headed for El Paso. You just hate your own skin, isn't that right? <laughs> you did your part of it. Let's go. The way we headed north along Rio Bravo Canyon. Why not? Seems like a good place for an ambush to me. You know a better way to go? South. No. Think where that is. Agua Caliente. That's Agua Caliente. Yes, I have my. He believe him because he see the blood. The if there's point. no blood. He had to believe him that, that there was a plot. <laughs> Be one so easy. They don't like strangers. No. You never saw a friend here shoot. No. Did any of you? We don't know how you'd be in emergency. I got a way you can show the man. How's that? Going to town alone, amigo. <laughs> you first this one. <laughs> Three versus two, two versus three. They run away after they look at them. Mind telling me how you got here? I figured you'd tell Indio to do just exactly the opposite of what we agreed. And he's suspicious enough to figure out something else. Since El Paso was out of the question, well, here I am. Um, double. Tequila for all of us. Oh. He recognized him. Well, when the smoker. Well. Remember me, amigo? Of course you do. El Paso. Small world. Very, very bad. You light another man. I generally smoke just after I. Why don't you come back in about ten minutes? Ten minutes, you'll be smoking in hell. Get out! Stay calm. Stay calm. Could you do? Count to three. One, two, three. Oh. Stop it! Who 
Why? I'm the one who can open the safe for you. What safe, senor? The one from El Paso you got there ahead of me. However, however, open that safe and you're going to destroy half the banknote. I can open it without blowing it up. So he said to main character in the first one. What did it cost? Five thousand. Two is what I'll pay you. Five. Keep your hands off. It's easy to steal the trouble. Listen, keeping the loot. Take it out. Now every man in New Mexico is after us. We're going to wait here for an entire month. I think it's necessary. And everybody will get his share. And you'll wait a month to get your money. Naturally. I'll be in the tavern, but the month will go fast. All right. Right here. Let's go. Is safe in here? Action in night time. Oh, a little movement. It's alone. Oh, it's only. Oh, <laughs> it's already. I was worried about you. All alone with so many problems to solve. It's all right here. Go ahead. Oh. oh my god. You shouldn't have shot the apples on that tree. Oh no. Put it on. Oh my god, how they can't escape right now. This is insane. He found. Oh my gosh. What's he doing now, the sheriff of El Paso? Looking for the cash that was in the bank. Right. And suppose he finds the body with lots of money on them. What with the sheriff? That's right. <laughs> What is it, Nino? Change your plan. You're one show. Huh? Oh, this guy went wrong. Age not low. I think you should get out fast now. Use your guns without bullets. And listen, don't you let Indio find you both around. Can he be a real dog? Hmm. I know you don't like questions, Indio, but why are you doing this? Nino, how long have you known that Monk was a bounty killer? I found out tonight. Why? I knew he was one from the first moment he arrived. Huh? The other one's also a bounty killer. So I have an idea. They'll be useful too. We'll try it. Those men are a lot better than mine with a gun. So we let all of them get mixed up in a gun battle. But that won't really matter. Or you. Because we'll be far away, right? And we'll have all the money. Go on away, Cuchillo. Who did it? Why don't you look at the knife? It's mine. And it shouldn't be there, should it? But I didn't kill him, Indio. I didn't do it. Cuchillo, it's difficult to prove that. Yes. One of the horses is outside. Let's see if you can get to it. Just kill Slim. He helped those two body killers get away. I want to back. Right now. Right now. Right now! What are you doing here? Go on, get them back! Groggy. Those two body killers are sitting on our backs and I tell you they must both be killed right away. We can't let them go free. Sneaky situation. It's done now. Prepare to get out of here. Here, Nino. Nino. Oh. Oh. A bad idea, Indio. But I'm one thing you forgot about. Open it up now. All right, come on now. Open it. <laughs> They're ready for the final fight. Leave Indio to me. All right. So they team up. In the first movie. 
<laughs> Kill them, but I'll rip out their guts first. I have a plan. What? They'll be back here. And this way, there'll be two of us. And they come back here. Say. <laughs> Are you sure of that in you? But they haven't. I thought something different. You made the boys ride on out and make sure they're both killed and fast. I'm not as dumb as the rest of them, Indio. There was no help for it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just realized this is the Gobarda in the second movie. You remember? That's why he's so familiar. Go on. Oh. Yeah, that guy is a Togo brother in the second movie. I remember him. Four guys down. <laughs> they thought I was a person. <laughs> they get three. <laughs> He's been crazy. That watch. It's been a long time that I wanted to ask. I can see that it means a lot to you, Indio. Why? He just wanna listen to his watch. <laughs> Wait, what happened to the girl? The girl's first back again. Oh. oh my gosh! Indio, listen to me. Oh my gosh, it's just to die instead of killing him. Does the name mean anything to you? He <laughs> take a peek. Wow. Oh. oh my god. This is so hard. When the chimes end, pick up your gun. Try and shoot me, Colonel. Just try. Oh my gosh. I'm afraid they're both gonna die. It's coming closer. <laughs> oh, it's also in the ring. Like in the second movie. Like in the circle. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Very careless of you, old man. He's got no chance right now. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> oh. Is that? Bravo. Seems to be a family resemblance here. Naturally, between brother and sister. My gun? Boy, you become rich. You mean we've become rich, old man? I think you deserve it. How about a partnership? Maybe next time. Next time they are not. He become bad. What? Huh? Yes. 10,000, 12,000, 17, 2, 22. No! 27. Oh. Any trouble, boy? <laughs> no, old man. <laughs> Thought I was having trouble with my adding. Just make sure he will All right, count, now. <laughs> count the bodies. <laughs> this is a masterpiece. And also, the story is definitely different from the second one because this is Tuko's brother, and the first one he's dead. <laughs> oh, he's right out of the body. Bounty Hunter Oh, 
<laughs> Dear guys. So in the end, it has the same fire as the second one. In the end, she said that God is gonna become bad in the second one. You see, this is a masterpiece. If you guys interested in this movie, you guys can check out the good, the bad, and the ugly. We will be react to that. So thank you for your comment request. We put it up here. If you enter our reaction, please give a like button and click the subscribe button. You guys can recommend a movie like this. Mr. Morphe. Oh, so you guys can best reaction for me. To me, movie. <laughs> yeah. The good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>